Greeting. This is Ahmad from Global Project Control YouTube channel. In this lesson, I would like to show you how you can update multiple resources simultaneously in Primover p 6 As you see, this is my project without any progress. For this kind of update, at the first, you need to export by a spreadsheet only for activity section and do the export and find these fields activity ID status WBS code name activity start finish actual start actual finish and so on Let me to save the file into my desktop. And then minimize this file and go through this file. This is my progress sheet. This progress sheet related to my activities and my resources. All of my resources uh, updated here, and I have three types of resources. The gray one is non-labor, the blue one is labor, and the red one is material resources. And I have some update according to this percentage for each resources. And this is the percentage of my total project. This is my budget total unit. An actual start and actual finish. So, in order to start the update, I need to open the file. When you want to use the update, uh, by a spreadsheet, you should convert some of takes value to the number. And then I'm going to change the format of date to use this format because I exactly use this format in Primavera P6. First of all, I need to update for activity percent complete. So I use the VLOOKUP for activity percent complete. In order to move data from my uh, other sheet to this sheet, this is my activity ID, and I want to move the activity percentage completed from this sheet to my exported file. OK. And because that data is in percentage, I should multiply it to 100. Because Primover P6 is not accepted percentage value in activity percentage complete. Right now, according to my activity percentage complete, I'm going to looking for actual start and actual finish. Let me to filter for activity percent complete, okay? Right now, I used VLOOKUP for my actual start date from this sheet, from activity to actual start.
and also I need to change the format for that like what I did in start and finish and also in this session you need to update the actual finish too I used to look up for actual finish in order to move data from this sheet to my destination sheet and this is my actual finish for these two value because my task is not completed up to now I should remove actual finish date And also, you know, you have three type of activity status in Primavera P6. The first one is not started, as you see. The second one is in progress. And the third one is completed. I change the completed activity status. And also for in progress activity status. If you didn't do this change, you cannot update your project. So after this, if you have some update, you can do it. But according to the project rule, the remaining duration for 100% activity should be zero. So I change them to the zero and then I'm going to update for 15% remaining duration right now my file is ready to import for update in activity sheet Before each Im import, in order to change the formula to the value, do not forget to use the copy and paste value in all of your file. Okay, my file is ready to import. Use the save. import by a spreadsheet find the file location and update my project right now my activity status updated but I need to update my resources too because as you see my resources maybe my resources do not accept any actual so I come back to the export Use the spreadsheet and this time I use the resource assignment. Create the export and use this field in order to update the resource sheet. right now I minimize the P6 and go through the update for resource assignment each time you create the export file you need to convert the text to the number and because I have some update in some of 
my activities I need to look up my progress at the end of this file so I write a percentage over here and I am go through the update based on resources actually you know that at the first I updated my activity sheet so right now it is not necessary to use any update for not started activities so I filter them and right now I should only update these resources I go through the resource IDs resource R-3 and then I'm going to look up for percentage of completed these resources according to my progress sheet by using VLOOKUP I use the VLOOKUP for activity ID and then I am going to activity ID this is my resource R-3 this is the percentage I use the percentage value over here and mention the resource ID in the above right now I need to know how many actual budget should be assigned to the resources according to the percentage completed I update the actual and then I am go through the remaining and also according to my progress measurement procedure I want to keep the project on budget so I use the equal for add completed to the budget unit okay right now my resource R-3 updated so I clear the filter change this formula to the value right now I use the filter again for incomplete for in progress and completed activities then I go through the other resources R-4 like the previous one I use the VLOOKUP in order to move the correct data from this sheet this is resource R-4 this is the resource R-4 I change it to the percentage format and right now I want to update my actual unit based on my progress in resource and then I go through the update of remaining unit and finally I update my add completion clear the filter use select all use copy and change it to the value right now my file is ready to import and I need to use the cleaning of the file for unnecessary item This is the file is ready to import. I use the save and come back to the software and go to a spreadsheet. Use the import. Select the file. And use the resource assignment. select the project and use the update right now if I schedule my project to the 9th September my project schedule and update it now I want to check this update 
I have totally 1,316 budget labor unit in my project, but according to this update, I want to actual 1,214 labor. So I want to check it with my progress sheet. Thousand of labor three and two hundred forty labor four. So my update in engineering section for labor unit is corrected. Let me to check my update in procurement section. According to my progress sheet, I have 688 labor unit should be updated. Let me to check it. 688 labor unit updated according to my updated file. That is all you need for multiple resource updating during the project but I avoid any update for milestone and LOEs because maybe you face it with error during this update. After you update your resources, you can easily update these two. I hope this lesson would be useful for you. Please keep in touch with GPC for further lesson. I hope this lesson would be useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag, Global Project Control, in order to find all of my lessons in the same page. Thank you for your subscription in my channel.